Happy New Year, everybody. It's Brandon from the SAS, the Snack Food Appreciation Society, and I am back to where it all began, Sonic, down here in Spotsylvania County, Virginia, and today I am on the road. In fact, I've gone about 50 miles. Uh, I think it says 46 and a half, actually. It's probably a little more than that because I had to reset the... Uh, uh, odometer thing after a little while. Anyway, I got the brand new Sonic uh, Ultimate Grilled Cheese Sandwich. I got the Ultimate Philly Cheesesteak Grilled Cheese, which consists of grilled cheese, uh, tomato, no, there's no tomato in there, I'm sorry, that's uh, steak and cheese, grilled onions, and a bunch of mayonnaise. It doesn't look like there's a ton of cheese on there, quite honestly. And it's not very toasted feeling or anything. It's kind of a soft or what have you, so that's kind of interesting. I also got the tater tots. What would a trip to Sonic be without tater tots? And I got a cherry limeade. Cherry limeade is the bomb. Alright, so, without any further ado, since it is New Year's, uh, let me go ahead and pick this up, show it to you. It's kind of sloppy looking, I'll tell you that. There's, I guess, the bulk of the cheese is kind of coming out that side right there. Uh, I kind of debated on whether or not to get the onions on it, but I decided to go ahead and do it. And let's see how it turns out. So, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time in 2013, take a look at the bag while I take a bite. And grab one of their world-famous tear tots, just in case some of you ever haven't had them before, and I don't think I've ever officially reviewed them. And they are right. The only thing better than a Sonic Tot is two Sonic Tots. Well, um, the grilled cheese sandwich, like I said, it wasn't very crunchy. I like my grilled cheese a little more crunchy. Uh, there was not a ton of cheese in there. I figured, you know, something called grilled cheese would be predominantly cheese. The steak tasted pretty good. was a little bit salty. There's a little bit of a grease factor going on there. Um, the mayonnaise was pretty good, too. It didn't really remind me of a grilled cheese sandwich, quite honestly. I'm a big Texas toast man, and that's actually what this is on there is Texas toast. Uh, I've been known to eat an entire loaf of Texas toast at one time. Uh, you know, the, the the uncooked Texas toast, the thick sliced white bread. I'm a carb monster, what can I say? Anyway, with that being said, I'm giving this sandwich about a half a thumb up. It's pretty good. It's not something that I would drive another 46 miles or 48 miles or whatever it is to have again. The tots are thumbs up always. Um, kind of a nice kind of sweet potato-y taste without being sweet potatoes and not having that, I don't know, uh, twang or bitterness that sweet potatoes sometimes have. Uh, so it's not a sweet potato, obviously. It's a regular potato tot. But they give me a little sweetness. Anyway, they're nice and crispy, uh, fluffy on the inside. I love the way they taste. Those are thumbs up. Um, cherry limeade, I've had it a million times. It's thumbs up, too. Don't have to even taste it for you here. Uh, they do have a couple of other of the grilled cheese sandwiches. There's a BLT one and also a bacon ranch one. And I almost audible and got a Car Hop Classic cheeseburger. Maybe I should have done that. I might have been a little bit more happy with my decision making in that point. Anyway, so with that being said, like I said before, Happy New Year in the words of the late great Dick Clark. And I will see you next time on on the road, and I'll see you Friday on Pizza Night. Join the SAS on Facebook by clicking on the link that's below in the description, and also subscribe to the videos, do all that fun stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, as I always say, in the meantime, in between time, I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.